Germany's Chipko movement takes us to the Hamburg Forest, just 50 kilometers from Bonn, where the World Climate Change Conference was held last week. Activists say a powerful energy and mining company is destroying the jungle. Fearing the police, they even protect their identities by covering their faces. What is happening here is that RWE, the second biggest uh, energy company in Germany, is removing one of the oldest forests in all of Europe to make room for a brown coal mine and then dig up the, dig up the coal, burn it and uh, remove people from their homes all over the world. About 150,000 people have been removed from their homes in the last decades. The activists have dug up roads leading to the jungle. They even have an innovative way to try and persuade drivers not to enter. This barricade is um, supposed to stop or hesitate the police from coming in the forest and destroying uh, this forest. So we hope that the driver would be Christian and would not want to, um, to tear down uh, this Jesus barricade. The activists have occupied the remaining forest and made tree houses. A similar strategy to the Chipko movement in the Himalayas, where women in Garhwal in the 1970s had clung to trees to save them from being cut by timber contractors. The purpose of the tree houses here is that as long as there is a tree house and people live in the tree house, they kind of squat the tree and in the moment when there is a, a person up the tree, the tree cannot be cut. Okay. So we put in this way we protect the trees from being cut and we protect the coal from taken away from the soil and we protect our climate. Though Chancellor Angela Merkel has been campaigning for clean energy, Germany is Europe's biggest carbon emitter with 20% of greenhouse gas emissions. Clearly it is time for the developed world to walk the talk and listen to the voices of these people. With Ridesh Joshi reporting from the Hamburg Forest in Germany, Amitabh Brevi, NDTV.